When I'm walking on a breeze, I got no enemies. I just do what I please. Modern day Royal Enfield has a long history in cruisers. We learned, we learned a lot about our consumers, what they actually use, what they like, what they don't. And then that evolved into the Lightning and then the Thunderbird. It actually gave more and more experience to us about what consumer is wanting for a long distance ride. And we always knew when we ceased production of Thunderbird 500, we wanted a, a larger capacity cruiser to take over. When we went into developing the Super Meteor, that was our starting point to take that legacy and bring it forward. When we're looking at a thoroughbred cruiser from Royal Enfield, it should be simple, easy to handle. So when they came to cruising, people are looking for a Royal Enfield take on different genres, different platforms, and that became very interesting for us. That opened our eyes to Royal Enfield's take on cruising. An additional challenge has got to be a global bike. So everything's got to work on the, the highways you get in, in Europe, but also some of the, you know, let's face it, more challenging urban roads that you get in India. It was the, the real push that this had to look like a cruiser, feel like a cruiser, but ultimately we're quite happy with how it behaves dynamically as well. The same way that the original 650 twins were a new thing for us, we're doing that again now uh, with, with the Super Meteor. It became clear this engine was, if not even better suited for this bike, it just works really well in this package. But also in the tuning of the engine, clearly we need to give the character of a cruiser. So completely new exhaust, completely new intake, clearly the mapping is dedicated to this bike. This was really new for a modern Royal Enfield. You could, you could be passing people on the motorway, no problem. It ticked all the boxes. But outside of that, virtually everything else on this bike is brand new. It's an entirely new mainframe, entirely new suspension geometry, bodywork is brand new, tank, side panels, swinging arm. We've gone for upside down forks for the first time on, on a Royal Enfield. And that very first LED headlight, everything on the bike, really is, as I say, from a clean sheet of paper, is, is brand new. In any project, there are a few really key points. One of the best is when you're only about a year or so into the project and you actually ride the bike for the first time. It's a mule bike. Although it looks awful, it rides like it should. When I saw it first time, I said, yes, we got the motorcycle bang on. That's the Super Meteor. We wanted to make it so that the dynamics of the bike, you didn't have to put your feet down. We wanted to make the slow speed maneuverability, we wanted to make it really predictable, really neutral, so you can still ride around really slow. I think it is like instantly familiar though, and although it is foot forward, you can just jump on it and ride, which is exactly what you want to do. Yeah, and the, the big piston forks gives you that, that control, but also that plushness as well. It's been a massive step forward. It's improved the dynamics, it's improved the control, it hugely increased our braking stability. It's helped dial in all these areas for us. DNA of, of everything Royal Enfield does, so you know what makes a Royal Enfield? So one is desirability. You have to walk into a showroom and think, oh, I've, I've got to have that. So usually when we design anything for any bike, it's, uh, we try to emphasise our shapes. It's literally, we emphasise with colour and the graphics. And Royal Enfield, basically, if you see like all the colours, uh, they fight for their existence. So between those two variations, we have like the more touring versions are more the classical look, whereas the other versions are a bit metallic heavy. It's a Royal Enfield way of understanding what a, what a modern cruiser should be. And I think we looked at the, the badge from the go, the motorcycle should feel like it's moving, right? Even if it's standing still. You know, we are a 121 year old startup. That's what is the, the DNA of this organization. We have been continuously improving and we're a strong believer as an organization that every day you have to keep improving. This particular bike being the premium most is going to be the benchmark for the future and the best quality levels. With the Super Meteor, we wanted to make sure that this product has tough, dependable and absolutely reliable. 
we have done most rigorous testing for this super meteor. Each individual components gone through rigorous testing with the extreme conditions and all. And in-house and outdoor testing is equivalent to more than a combined of a million kilometers on road. All of that comes together to make a bike that overall, when you walk up to it, you just think, that's great, I really like that. And the super meteor is the latest step in that journey. You know, we are continuing to raise the bar. It's also a motorcycle which is actually developed by both the tech centers in UK and in India. We get all the benefit from all the feedback of 100,000 kilometers in India and in the UK. All the testing locations and all the different people riding the bike just adds for a better, more versatile product. Every rider, every riding style, every performance level, everyone can jump on it and have a great time. So whereas we are chaotic, that's something that is definitely there. We're also really a family. Um, everyone is dedicated to what we do. It's not just a product. I don't think there is a more pleasurable feeling than sitting on something and designing yourself and working for so long. It's kind of a baby. You look at it and it's like, I want to do something good with it, and when you let it go. And I think Royal Enfield is really special on that one. Super Meteor is uh, much more than a classic cruiser. That's wicked. It puts a massive smile on your face. You get on it, and you, you know you're, in, you're instantly on a cruiser. But when you get onto the nice twisty roads, you'll have an even bigger smile on your face. And we come from a place of understanding riders and we really believe that this will resonate with people in a totally different way. I am super thrilled to see that Super Meteor motorcycle coming into the Royal Enfield family. It's really Royal Enfield's take on cruising. A thoroughbred cruiser across the globe. I got my